There are more treasure in books than all the pirates loot on Treasure Island. Walt Disney said that, and I agree. You're welcome to The Book One, an exciting new quiz show brought to you by Gutman International Concept and 2W Works Limited. Now, Book One is made possible by Feather App and Daradams Limited. This is The Book One. My name is Umi Dada and I am your host and quiz master. On The Book One, you get a chance to win cash prizes and you do that by simply answering questions. Questions drawn from books, books you can find on the bookworm reading list. Now in the studio with me is a bookworm challenger, a contender, ready to earn the bookworm title and win some good money. But before I introduce her to you, let's look at the titles on the bookworm reading list. Okay, those are the titles, the books on the book one reading list. Ten books in all, and questions will be coming from all of them. Now, our contender is ready. She's seated, and she's going to take on all these questions from all of these books. Please meet Faith Umokoro, our contender, looking to earn the book one title. You're welcome, Faith. Thank you. All right. So, you've seen the reading list, you've seen the books. Yeah. yeah? Uh, did you read everything? Ah, not really. <laughs> not really. Okay. But you're confident, right? Yeah. yeah, you'll go far. I can see it on your face. Something is telling me you're going to go far with this. You'll try. All right. And that's good enough. I mean, that's all any one of us can do. We can just try and see where we get to. Now, uh, let me tell you how this works. Mm -hmm. Now, there are 10 questions. And every question is worth some money. Now, question one is worth 10,000 naira. And then subsequently, every correct answer that you give me will double the amount of money you have in hand. Okay, so that's question two, we'll make it 20,000. Question three, we'll make 20,000, 40,000, and so on and so forth. Now, there's a catch. If you give me an incorrect answer, it has a consequence. And what it will do is it will wipe your earnings completely, takes you back to ground zero. Yes. So try not to give me an incorrect answer. Okay. Now you have a lifeline. It works in a somewhat unusual way because what it does is, if activated, is it takes you to a safe mode of the quiz. As a safe mode, in that mode you don't earn as much money in the regular mode. Okay, in the safe mode, every question is worth 10,000 naira. You don't get to double the money. And also, whatever monies you've earned, you get to keep. Right? Uh, it doesn't matter if you give me a wrong answer moving forward. You get to keep any money that you've earned so far. Now, one more thing, or two more things really. Uh, moving into the safe mode, you can only take 10% of whatever you've earned from the regular mode. That's all you can take with you. And if you want to activate this safe mode, you have to do it before or by the time you get to question seven. Yes. Between question one and question seven, you can activate the safe mode. But if you give me an answer to question seven, you can no longer access that safe mode before I tell you whether the answer is right or wrong. Right? So, before you give me any answer to question seven, you decide if you want to move to the safe mode or you want to continue on the regular mode of the cruise. All right, so that's it. That's all of it. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Faith is ready. I am ready as well. So, let's take on our very first question. But before we do that, we'll go on a commercial break and come back shortly. Don't go away. Welcome back to Book One. 
Faith is in the house, ready to take our first question of the Bookworm Challenge. Now, this first question, as I said earlier on, is what 10,000 naira. And you can double that if you give me the correct answer to the subsequent question. So let's do it. Question one is from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Have you read the book? Yeah. Okay, so here's the question. What is the Jabberwock? What is the Jabberwock? Option A, a killer shrimp. That's very funny, actually. Option B, a cousin of the Gryphon. Option C, a talkative bowl of fried rice. Hmm, nobody would be really like to have a conversation with a fried rice. And option D, a fearsome monster. So, which of these is the correct answer to the question, what is the job of Option D. Option what? D. D. What's there in option D? A fearsome monster. A fearsome monster. You are absolutely correct. That is the right answer. A fearsome monster in the adventures of Alice in Wonderland. Congratulations. 10,000 Naira is now yours. Good, good. Good way to start. Now let's go on to the second question and see if you can double that amount. All right. The second question is coming from the adventures of Thompson. That's another classic. Have you read it? Yeah. Okay, good. Question two says, what insect does Tom release in church? So Tom Sawyer released a particular insect in church. What is that insect? Option A says a tick. Option B says a ladybird. Option C, a, a pinch bird. Option C, pinch bird. And option D, a grasshopper. So one of these insects is the correct answer. Which one is it? Option C. Option C. A pinch bug. A pinch bug. Hmm. All right. Let's see. You are correct. A pinch bug is the insect that Tom released in church. You have successfully doubled the money you have in hand. 20,000 Naira is now yours. Okay. Let's move on to question three. Now, question three, it's a quote from one of, our, one of our books. Now, the quote says, anything worth dying for is certainly worth living for. Where is this quote from? Which of these books? Option A, Beloved, written by Tony Morrison. Option B, a book titled on Earth, we're briefly gorgeous by Ocean War. Option C, it's a book titled 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. And the last option here is a book titled Hatch 22 by Joseph Heller. Which of these books, from which of these books is the quote, anything worth dying for is certainly worth living for from? D. D. Catch 22 by Joseph. Catch 22 by Joseph Heller. Are you sure? Yes. You don't sound very sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Hmm. I'm going to give you one more chance just to think about it again because I'm looking at option A, the Lord. Anything we're dying for. What do people die for often? Love. Mm, that's option D. Option D. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's check it. Hmm. Okay. But well, before I tell you if you're correct or not, we will go on a break. And when we come back, we will find out if your option D, Catch 22 Joseph Ella, is the right answer. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the bookworm. We have Faith on the hot seat and she has given me her answer for question number three. 
Already she has 20,000 Naira in hand and if she gets this correctly, she will double it to 40,000 Naira. So, option D, final answer. Yes, final answer, option D. And uh, let's see. It's certainly not option B. It's not option A. He locked by Tony Morrison. It's option D. It's correct. Joseph Heller's Catch-22 is the correct answer. And you have doubled your money to 40,000 naira. Ah, Faith, your name is helping you. <laughs> nice, that's a very good one. So, we have question four ready. And it's from the book titled, Things Fall Apart. That's a Nigerian classic, written by Chino and Chibi. Have you read it before? Yes. You enjoyed it. Okay, so this should be a walk in the park. <laughs> Question says, why was Okonpo and his family sent away for seven years? Now, we have four options here. Option A says Okonpo did not follow the traditions. That was the reason. And option B says Okonpo was shot. Rather, no. And option B says Okonpo was shot a boy. That was why he was exiled with his family. Option C says Okonkwo killed his friend. And option D says Okonkwo married two wives. And that was his crime. So which of these options is the correct answer? Option B. Option B. Okonkwo shot a gun. The way you went for that option, you were so sure of it, I didn't even need to ask you for sure. Okay, so let's check. Right. Option B is the correct answer. Okonkwo did shoot a boy, and that's why he and his family were sent away for seven years. Well done. How much do you have now? Are you happy with me? You want to give me some money? You had 40,000 naira before, now you're doubling it. Oh, oh. Now you have 80,000 naira. For telling you that, I'm going to take my cut. 80,000 Naira in your pocket so far. Right, so we're moving on to question five. And if you give me the correct answer to this question, 80,000 becomes 160,000. Don't you just love this show? Because it, it pays to be a reader. If you're a reader, get on this show and make some good money. If you're not a reader, start reading. Okay. So question five is from the book Animal Farm, written by George Orwell. And it says, which empowering skill do the pigs learn before every other animal? So the pigs learn a particular skill before every other animal. What skill is that? What are these skills? Reading and writing, that's option A. How to drive, that's option B. Politics, option C. Mathematics, option D. Which of these is the correct answer? Option A, reading and writing. Option A, reading and writing. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Final answer? Okay, right. I suppose one would think of reading and writing because that would be very empowering. Hmm. Option A. You know that if this is the wrong answer, you will use everything you've heard so far. Okay. Let me also remind you that you have the option of taking a lifeline and moving on to a safer mode. You don't need the safe mode. No, no, no. Ah, okay. You are feeling very confident. Let's see if you got the question right. Reading and writing is correct. Option A. Congratulations. You have now doubled your money from 80,000 to 160,000. Good, good, good. So let's move on to the next question. If you get this right, you will have earned how much? 320. That's a good amount of money to earn. So let's go there. Question six from Rich Dad Poor Dad. In chapter 4 of Rich Dad Poor Dad, a chapter titled Minding Your Business, what is Ray Kroc's profession and his business? Now, now, option A says hamburger salesman, franchiser. 
Option B says motivational speaker and franchising. Option C, McDonald's business owner, salesman. And option D says salesman, real estate. One of these is the correct answer. Which one is it? Question six. Option D. Option D. Mm. Salesman, real estate. Final answer. Salesman Real Estate is the correct answer. Congratulations. <laughs> so, the money is growing. Fantastic. Okay. Your prayer is working. Okay, so it's time for me to ask you question seven. And um, so far, you have earned 320,000 money. It's a good, good amount of money. So far. But uh, this is the point of no return. If you do not use your lifeline now, you can never use it again. Alright? Do you want to stay on the regular mode of the peace challenge? Or you would like to move to the safe mode? I would like to move to the safe mode. You want to move to the safe mode? You already knew you were going to move to the safe <laughs> Okay. Okay. You, oh, wow. I would have encouraged you to, to, to keep going. Safe mode means you can only take 10% of what you've earned so far into that safe mode. You understand that? How much is 10% of 320,000 dollars? That's 32,000. That's all you can take for the safe mode. Are you sure you want to use that for you? If you don't give me an answer in five seconds, I'll stay on regular mode. You want to stay on regular mode? Yay! And let's see whether I'll get my first millionaire on this show. All right. So we move on to question seven. The book by Transition Hours was originally written by whom and published when? Option A says, Good luck, Ibele Jonathan, published in 2017. Option B says, Good luck, Ibele Jonathan, and the book was published in 2016. Option C says, Good luck, Ibele Jonathan, with the publishing year of 2018. And option D says, Good luck, Ibele Jonathan, published 2019 rather. So those are the options. I think it's safe to assume that this book was written by Good Luck and Village Jonathan. It is now a question of what year it was published. Now, I have to remind you that since you have not given me an answer, you can still use your life now. But the moment you give me an answer, all that goes away. Is it 2017? Is it 2019? 2018? Four years. Four consecutive years. And one of them is the year that book in the Transition Hours was published. Option A. Option A. Which is what exactly? Option A. Good luck to be in return. 2017. 2017. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Final answer. Option A, Good Luck and Billy Jonathan 2017, is absolutely 
When we come back from this commercial break, we'll find out if it is the right answer or the wrong one. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. This is Bookworm, powered by Feather App and Daradams Limited. Now back to Faith and the answer she has given me for question seven. That the book, My Transition Hours, was published in the year 2017. That's the option we took, option A, 2017. Now let's see if that is the correct answer. The year 2017 is not the book My Transition Hours was published in 2016. I am so sorry. But you are back to ground zero. Nevertheless, kudos to taking the point and taking that risk. Back to ground zero, but moving forward, you can still win some money. Whatever you win, subsequent questions answered correctly can still double your money. Okay? You have question 8, 9, and 10 left, and with that, you can still win something. So let's move on to question 8. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Question 8 is from the play Romeo and Juliet. Who is the servant to Juliet's nurse? Option A says Peter, B says Mercutio, C is Escalos, and D, Benvolio. Which of this is the correct answer? Option B. Option D, Ben Benvolio. Are you absolutely certain? Yeah. You sure? Okay. All right. I will check. Well, it's not Escalus. It's definitely not Marcusio. However, Peter is the correct answer. Is the wrong answer. Okay, moving on to question nine. You still have two questions to try and win something before this challenge is over. Question nine is from the book thief. That's the title of the book, the book thief. It says Rudy finally gets what he wants from Lisa after the bombing when she gives him what? Option A says a teddy bear. Option B says the fourth Hitler Youth Medal. Option C says a kiss. And D says her father's ring. Which of this is the correct answer? Option C, a kiss. Option C, a kiss. Final answer? Final answer. Final answer. I am sorry, but a kiss is the right answer. <laughs> well, you've won something finally. Thank God. So, 10,000 Naira is back in your hand. That is something. Okay, so we're going to question 10 and the final question for the challenge. If you get this, you get a chance to double that 10,000 money. All right? Question 10 is from the Death and the King's Horse Man. That's what Alicia Inka's play. Elishomba chokes himself to death with what? Option A says his own chains. Option B says he choked himself with his bare hands. Option C says reins attached to his horse. Option D says a rope attached to the oak tree. So which of this is the right answer? Option A, his Op own chains. Option A, his own chains. Option A, his own chains is absolutely correct. Well done. 
So you have, you have at least double the money you have in hand to 20,000 naira. Oh, cheer up. Don't be so <laughs> dumb faced. You want something, it's better than nothing. I know you wanted to move on to the um, safe mode. And if you had done that, you would have been walking away with a total amount of 52,000 naira. All right, so we have exhausted all the questions we have for this particular challenge. And it has won a sum of 20,000 Naira, which I will now be transferring to her using the Feather app. Or oh, I should keep the money. <laughs> all right, so here is the Feather app. And I am doing the transaction. And there the money is now in your account so easy but in addition to the twenty thousand naira, you also get an ipad yeah ipad 4 to be specific also from one of our sponsors dara dance limited now you can pick up this ipad from the head project uh, at uh, computer village in the all right and uh, when you get it, you will find that it is loaded with books. Books donated by the Association of Nigerian Orphans, ANO. So enjoy them, therefore, you're losing pleasure. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Faith, for coming on this show. Thank you. Uh, I'm afraid I can't give you the title for book one, but you did get something, right? And that's better than nothing. All right, folks. This is the end of this episode, and I'll be back with another contender who's going to try and clinch the book one title along with some good cash. Till then, it's bye-bye for me.